Well, today I'm going to borrow a line from Jack Nicholson's Joker from Batman 1989. Ah! Does he get those wonderful toys? That's right, today we're going to be answering the question of where do you get these wonderful toys? But before we get into that, I wanted to make sure to thank everyone that has been on this journey with us on our push for 2,021 subscribers. As of right now, we are almost at 900 subscribers, and that's pretty awesome. So thank you very much for everyone that has given me all the support so far. If you've not done so already, go ahead and hit me with a like, hit me with that subscribe, and join us on this journey. So let's answer this question of where to buy hot toys, when, and how. First off, let's start with the where to buy hot toys. A lot of people always wonder, can I just go to the hot toy store and get them? Well, there is no such thing as a hot toy store. Hot Toys is a company that is based in Hong Kong, in China, and although there isn't an actual Hot Toys store, they have their own place called Secret Base. When a figure is released, it is first released here. The locals, the bloggers, and YouTube reviewers will be the first to rush out and get these figures so that they can do their review, and you can actually get these figures as well if you're willing to pay a premium. But I'll be talking about that in a moment. If you're stateside or outside of Hong Kong, you're going to need to find yourself a distributor. Yes. Yes, that's what we need. We need a distributor now. Do you know anyone like that? Yeah, I mean, I used to until you killed him. So let's talk about the big players in the game. Sideshow is the official distributor for North America. And with anything, there's naturally going to be pros and cons, and you have to weigh them to see what works for you. As far as the pros for Sideshow, you have a tremendous website, payment plans, and a pretty decent reward system. And one thing I'll say about Sideshow that you can't replicate is their unbelievable customer service. So let's talk about the cons to Sideshow. Unfortunately, because they are stateside and they have to get these from Hong Kong, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to receive your figures. Because they're outside of Hong Kong, you could see your figure coming to you from Sideshow in around 45 days from the release to somewhere up to three months. So if waiting is not a problem for you, Sideshow is a great option. Now let's talk about some Hong Kong resellers. If you are wanting your figures fast and don't mind paying a premium, this is the option for you. Now I have used Pop Collectibles, and I know many other people have as well and haven't had any problems. However, if something were to happen to your package, because it's being shipped internationally, you do run a greater risk of possibly losing the package or not being able to get a refund that easily. Hong Kong resellers are also another great option for harder to find figures, out of stock figures, or rare figures, such as this lovely Arkham Knight. Now with anything, of course, with supply and demand, you will pay a premium for it, so be advised of that before you go looking. Now let's talk about the one everyone's always afraid about, eBay. Now, eBay is a little bit hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get an unbelievable steal with someone trying to unload a figure or putting it up some for something that they really don't understand with what they have. Other hand to that, you may get in a bidding war with somebody and have to overpay. With eBay, Mercari, OfferUp, all those different secondhand options, keep in mind that you are buying these secondhand. So naturally, make sure to do your research. Don't be afraid to ask questions and ask for as many pictures that you feel comfortable with because at the end of the day, you are paying for these things and sometimes they can be pretty expensive. So know what you're getting ahead of time. And one important thing, always check the seller rating. Never buy from somebody with negative feedback or a zero rating. All right, let's talk about when to buy your Hot Toys figures. To understand where you need to buy your figures, I think it's important to understand the actual release cycle of Hot Toys. From the time that Hot Toys makes the announcement that this is the figure that is going to be coming out, it then moves to the pre-order stage where you can get your order in, forget about it, sit on it, and just wait for that bad boy to come out. During that time, it then goes into the production phase, which sometimes can last an upwards of 18 months. But at the end of the day, these are pieces of art, and it does take a little while to get these right, to get the quality control down, and get you the figure that you are ultimately paying good money for. Once the production is complete, it will then go to the final stage where it is given to the bloggers for them to take the final production photos, and then it hits a Hong Kong release. From those Hong Kong releases at Secret Base, that's where you decide if you want to pay for your day one pre-orders, or you can go and get something called a second batch, which will sometimes be a little bit cheaper, and then you can go from there. Sideshow usually gets a second or third batch, depending on when they actually ship the figure and how demand that figure is. Once Sideshow or your distributor receives the figure, it then becomes in stock. From there, 
It's anybody's guess. Sometimes figures go out of stock before they even make it over to the distributor. As of this recording right now, case in point is in-game Captain America. He has been on pre-order for a year and a half and he's not yet made it over to the States, but he has already gone to something called waitlist. Waitlist is what happens when a figure has all the inventory allotted for, but you can get on a waitlist in case somebody cancels for you to move up in the queue. Now, if you have a figure that is on waitlist, you may get lucky and it may convert and you may be able to purchase that figure at that time. Unfortunately, not a lot of them do happen to come to be available. And then once the figure has been in stock, once it's gone to wait list, it is then moved to sold out. And it's at that moment that you will need to look to secondary markets like eBay, Mercari, different type of resellers to see if they have any inventory of these older figures. So the question you have to ask yourself is where do I need to come in this production cycle? Do you want to go ahead and pre-order a figure before you even see the final? Do you want to wait and take a chance on possibly missing out and it going out of stock? Or do you want to go ahead and get it when it is in stock? These are questions that you'll need to answer for yourself. And finally, let's talk about how to buy hot toys. And I think this is the most important piece of everything that we're going to be saying today. There's a saying in the six scale community that no one ever buys just one. Oftentimes, and I can speak from experience because it happened to myself, once you get your first and hold it in your hand, then the rabbit hole starts and you'll find yourself pre-ordering and looking for other figures because when you hold it in your hand, you realize you have something really special and before long, you end up with something like this. But at the end of the day, keep in mind that this is an expensive hobby. If you're not smart, you can really stop having fun really quick. Here's a couple of really quick tips that can help you to continue to have fun. Number one is set a budget and stick to it. And I would say this is probably one of the most important. There's nothing worse than living outside of your means and getting yourself stuck in debt to where you're having to decide on whether or not you can make a rent payment or car payment because you have too many other things in your life. And this isn't a financial lesson by any means, but always live within those means. Number two, collect characters and lines that you actually like. There's this thing going around now to where everyone gets FOMO, the fear of missing out. And people go and jump on the hype train and get things that simply because everyone else is getting it, they think that they need it too. And they end up with figures, expensive figures at that, that they don't even really like. And that ties in perfectly to number three, don't get caught up in the hype train. Within the YouTube community, within the Reddit community, we do a really good job of looking at what everybody else has and thinking that I have to have that too. Just because someone else has it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have it too. Because always remember, the first thing, stay within your means, stay within your budget. Number two, find the characters that you like. If you don't like it, there's no business of trying to grab it. Number four, and I've said this before, this is a golden rule. If there's a figure you think that you might like, go ahead and pre-order it because there's nothing worse than waiting for something to go out of stock and having to pay a premium for it later on the line. I've always said that these are kind of easy to sell. Now, figures are never an investment opportunity. You know, they do retain their value, which is a good thing. But if you do happen to get a figure that you don't like, then you can always sell it later on. But it's also a lot harder to try to get a figure that you missed out on and having to pay a secondary market value. And lastly, don't try to keep up with other collectors. Everybody is different. Everybody has their own thing. Everyone has their own display. And at the end of the day, collect what you like. Just because someone may not like Darth Maul does not mean that you cannot like Darth Maul. Just because someone collects DC does not mean that you can't collect DC or vice versa. So always remember, collect what you want to collect. Make this display yours. Make the collection yours. And at the end of the day, have fun. Hopefully you're able to get something from this on the how, when, and where to buy hot toys. Thank you so much if you made it to this far in the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. As I've said, we are on our way to 2,021 subscribers. Make sure if you've not done so already, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you are subscribed. I would really appreciate that. It helps out the algorithm and uh, we'll see where we go from here. I will say we have some big news coming up next. The next video will be at last the look at the collection room volume four. And I got a lot of goodies that I can't wait to see you. So until then, I'll see you in our next video.